and that's why you should never mix pop walks and soda. Okay. Anyone else have a riveting tale? I do. Richard, let's hear from the children. Well, Penny asked me out on a date. <laughs> no biggie. She did? That's great news. What did she say? Well... That's about it. Oh, my little girl is becoming a woman. Mom. Man. Girl, you're my hero. You're going on this big date and you're not even nervous. I'd be freaking out. I mean, think about it. If you blow it, she'll never speak to you again and you'll be left alone for the rest of your life and never find happiness. Don't worry, sweetie. Just be yourself. That's all a girl wants. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Mom. See you after work. Bye! <clears throat> <laughs> what? <clears throat> Listen, honey. Ignore everything your mother just said. Why? Look, women only think they want us to be ourselves because they don't know how how wretched we are what do you what you have to do is think of someone really cool and attractive and be dumb R really but, but Anais is this true I'm gonna have to go with dad on this one you're kind of a loser gumball exactly sorry what am I gonna do I really like Penny I want her to like me too you could start by being romantic, dress up a little, find her some presents. Well, I can't do any of those things. I don't have any money. Listen, honey, you don't need money to show a girl a good time. You think I have a ma you think I have money? Eh, no. Do you see mom leaving me? Yeah, every day when she... Every day she goes to work and earn money. <laughs> There's other ways to get stuff without spending money. Do you want to hear the secrets kept in centuries by water synth men? I don't have any choice, do I? Nope. Come with me. First things first. We need to get you some nice clothes. Yeah, Penny loves fashion. That's a great idea. Money for free. Be 
Oh, the credit card. I simply take this magic card and sort it like so. Type in the secret magic number that mom told me and money comes out of the mouth. It works every time. Achoo! See? Here, here you go, honey. Awesome! Hey, hey, beautiful. Oh, hey, Penny. I didn't see you there. Yeah, I was just passing by, you know, chilling with my, uh, new glasses. <laughs> I think I'm ready for my date. Are you... Have you even considered how you're gonna behave on this date? Yeah, probably gonna be well-behaved. I mean, like, manners and etiquette. Uh, uh, ah! Start by pouring Miss Pumpernickel a cup of tea. I don't wanna. Why? Cause she's looking at me funny. See? Gumball! She's a doll! Why don't you try having a civilized conversation with her? All right. So, how was your day, Mrs. Pumpernickel? Oh, I see. Too good to talk to me, huh? You think you're better than me with your fancy little cups and your lovey dove friends? Well, you know nothing about life, Mrs. Pumpernickel. And this is what I do to your fancy china. <laughs> Gumball, just get out of my room. Okay, I'm all set. Got my look. I know where I'm taking her. I'm ready to go. There is one thing you're not ready for. What's that? This. Ow! What was that? The unexpected, and you were prepared for it. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Follow me to training camp. Where? Just come to the backyard. You've got to be prepared for anything on this date. Because anything can happen. Like what? What if someone tries to mug you? I don't know. Call the police? Eh, wrong. Knock his block off. Like that? Uh, that was good, but it's better to finish with a, with a wisecrack. Women love that. Like what? Like, welcome to Punch Town! Population you! Are you sure this is gonna help me with my date? Totally! Okay. Hi, I'm Penny's father, and I don't approve you because you don't have any prospects. Oh, ah! I'm sorry, Daddy, but you're grounded. Oh, hello. I'm Sebastian Longquin, Penny's successful ex-boyfriend. Oh, ah! Looks like this ex is catching some Z's. Is that all you got? What do you say to someone who doesn't believe in love? Oh, ah! You don't need that part. Actually, that was a little good for you. But I'll give you 8 out of 10. Good job, soldier. <sighs> the hardest part.
part of my job is watching them leave. So, oh honey, you look like a million bucks. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Did you did you remember to ta? Very good, because I thought you were going to be surprised. Okay, but will you be prepared for the third surprise? That one was pretty obvious, dude. Oh, this is going to be the greatest day ever. Hey. Oh, thanks for coming, Gumball. You look, um, dressed. I guess you should come in. Well, that's one way to get in the house. <laughs> right. So, what do you want to do today? Today's the funeral. Oh, for Mr. Cuddles, my pet? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it might be a real funeral. <laughs> I mean, pets, pets are great. Like part of the family. So, what happened to him? My dad flushed him down the toilet by mistake. <laughs> That's terrible. Did it go around and around or straight down? Straight down. I'm Penny's father. Hiya, block. Right, come to the backyard. The service is about to start. Penny, I'm sorry. I thought it was a date. Why didn't you tell me it was a funeral? I did, in the corridor at school. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, Penny. Thanks, Gumball. Awesome day for remembering those who have left us. Shall we go? Gumball, perhaps you would like to say a few words about Mr. Cuddles. Eh, uh, of course. Well, Mr. Cuddles was Penny's pet. Even though I never met him, Penny's pretty hot. So, I'm sure he was pretty hot, too. Thank you, Gumball. That was very special. My picture! Huh? My sister made a photo tribute so we can, rem so we can all remember Mr. Cuddles. Aw, how thoughtful. Wanna see? something that creepy in their house. <laughs> Listen, honey. I think it's best you leave. I'll uh, let myself out. Play on, dear. Oh, Danny boy. Surprise, surprise. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Can I use your bathroom? Because it's kind of a long... It's just around the left. It's just the second to the left upstairs. Thanks. From Gwen to Gwen. 
Have a nice funeral. Just get out of here. Oh man, what is wrong with me? She's never going to forgive me for that. I'll spend the rest of my life alone. Never find happiness. Ah! Spider! Knock his block off! No, wait. But come you back when summer's in the meadow. Hey! I found Mr. Cuddles. He's on the toilet. Is she trying to say something? He's on the toilet. Look, the toilet. Or when the valleys just ignore her. I guess I'll have to show them. Come here, little fella. Who's a good spider? Who's a lovely little spider? Oh, good boy, mister. Get it off. 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 Don't look. You'll just encourage her. somewhere. Gumball, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Honey, I stand corrected. I thought you were a good-for-nothing young troublemaker, but no. You, yeah, whatever. One question, is that spider poisonous? Because it just bit me. Yeah, but it's like a bee sting. You have to be bit like 150 times for it to be dangerous. Okay, thanks. If you'll excuse me, I'll go now. Bye. Ugh, she looks real bad. Disgusting. She looks awful. She'll never play the baritone again. Shh, shh, shh. She's waking up. <laughs> Looking good, champ. Someone's here to see you, honey. Hi, Gumball. Ed Penny. I brought someone here along who wants to say sorry. Right, Mr. Cuddles? <laughs> <laughs>